When a child is diagnosed with cancer, the diagnosis goes to the entire family. Even though that they may not have the disease in their body as we say they have it in their lives, their life is forever changed. When you first hear about that diagnosis, there's really important needs that the family has for support. You have to worry about hospital visits, worry about what lab results are going to be, and worry is probably the biggest part. You realize after talking to these parents how much they struggle and how much pain they've had to go through and just how grateful they are for every day that they have. Wow, Lou. After they've gone through that initial part of the treatment, there's that want to return to normalcy, to be a family again, to see that hope again, and that's where camp can come into play. Camp helps to turn the experience of childhood cancer from a totally negative thing to a growing experience for the children and their siblings and the family. And not in any way to negate the research that goes on trying to cure it and all the effort that's put into the medical and nursing care of these children as patients. We care for them as people. Right after period. Not only as a camper, but as a volunteer, we have a mission. We drive that to our kids, and we help them with social competencies, and self-reliance, independence, support, and we help them become better people outside of camp. This camp is a great experience, and it's really helped me overcome my disability and being a cancer patient. It helped me think that, oh, I am just like everybody else. It gave me that sort of mindset. Camp really helped me a lot because it was really hard to talk to anybody in my family about what I went through or any of my friends, but at camp I was able to meet siblings and also patients who had been through the same things I had been through. So I was able to open up and talk to people. There are hundreds of stories like that of children who really regain their childhood and regain the sense of I'm a worthwhile person. So that's sportsmanship. We're going to ask that everyone do that. And our goal at camp is to help children be stronger people, both physically and intellectually and emotionally, more able than when they came to camp. Really good. I love to volunteer at camp. Some of the kids that come here, you wouldn't believe how close they have brushed with death many a time. And to see them out here running around having a normal life, it's one of the beautiful gifts that you see. This is as important a therapy for the child as any of the medical therapies we give them. The whole psychological benefit of being able to be here, to be with normal children, to have a normal life is so beneficial. Our kids come back from camp just doing tremendously. They're enthusiastic. They have benefited so much from this. It's awesome because you get to help people who need help and you get to play around, mess around, and you get to learn a lot. I've had experiences I never thought I would have had except here. And the medical care here is extraordinary. We have doctors and nurses from all the hospitals that take care of their children. We're familiar with their special needs and we can focus right in on those. Now, we don't say anything about their disease in front of anybody else, but we know what's going on with them, and when we have them in the room and examining them, we take those things in mind and take care of them, but we really try to emphasize them having a normal time and being a normal child here. Summer camp is a seven-day experience for the children. They are invited into cabins. Cabin groups have caring adults with six to 10 children, all about their same age. Some are patients, some are siblings. Some are going right through the middle of their treatment. Some were diagnosed years ago, and they become a small family. They get to know each other, they play together, they eat together in our dining hall. What I like best is the activities that we always do. One of them is basketball. Fishing, horseback riding, meeting new friends, making new friends, counselors. Well, I think that you get to make new friends and, and find when you're at camp, you get to see things that you don't always see. Camp's special because even if you're sick and you have disability problems, they still help you get around and the campers will help you too. There's an opportunity to do songs and skits at our campfire. Nothing's better than being a child that wants to get up on stage that thought that they never could. It's just great to see a kid light up from that. All those kinds of things that children should be surrounded by. They have the opportunity to be surrounded by them up here at camp. And all this is under the supervision of these great volunteers that take care of them like their big brothers, big sisters for the week before we take them home and we give them back to their parents and they can share the kind of the growth that they've had, how they feel better about themselves, how they're a good friend, how they're really good at arts and crafts. Share those kinds of things that they've grown from this experience here at camp. 
it's just neat to see kids being kids. I think that a lot of time, some of our patients, even some of our siblings, are probably really overly guarded, and sometimes maybe they just can't really let loose and be real kids, just let themselves go. Here they can do that in a very safe environment. Smile. The center of the Courage course is an actual climbing tower. It's about 50 feet high. But along that, we have other elements and different games, let's say, that we can play down there where we challenge the kids. And one thing that I love about the Courage course is the rules that we operate under basically challenge by choice. We don't present the kids with challenges. They challenge themselves. So it's up to them how much they want to push themselves and how much they want to grow. Well, when I was sick, I was very weak. So it was hard for me to do a lot of activities, but they still included me in them as much as they could. They helped me on the horseback and everything. They helped me with the bow and the archery section. I was able to swim. I had a port so I could swim. So it was really fun. That's what I do it every day, to see kids get out of wheelchairs and to sit on the floor with friends and to make friends and to be a friend. To see a child that's been told the things that they can't do, whether or not that's swim in the pool, whether or not that's go on a hike because they're missing a limb or because of bone pain, but they can do that, that can enjoy that and can do that with the support and the, the help with friends. When they come back and say, Brian, you'll never believe what I just did. That sense of pride, that sense of hope, that sense of look what I can do is the thing that we try to make happen every day for these kids. It's not fun to see people that have been diagnosed with cancer go through it, especially if they're going through it at camp, but it's just kind of fun to like encourage people, like, I've gone through it, so you can make it too. And it's just it's fun encouraging people and telling them that there's like hope. Thank you.